Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today it's such a special day. I've been waiting so freaking long for this. Cottage Living came out yesterday and I am so pumped to play with you guys today. I haven't watched any LPs on YouTube, any streams, nothing. I have been, what's the word I'm looking for? restraining, banning myself from watching anything about it because I want my first impressions to be in this video today. I want it to be in this Let's Play and I want to have them with you. So yeah, I haven't explored this pack at all. We are going to be doing a Rags to Riches style Let's Play, but we're going to be doing it with two Sims this time. I'll show you the Sims and I'll tell you their backstory because it's a doozy. <laughs> uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Savannah. I love the Sims. I play here on YouTube as well as Twitch. I have loads of content on my channel from let's plays to creative sim challenges to speed builds to other random things so if you're interested uh check it out and maybe subscribe it would mean the world to me so yeah this let's play is going to be a rags to riches style like i said and i think it's going to be very reminiscent to my eco lifestyle let's play where it was like a kind of like a mini series 10 episodes long we'll see what we can do in 10 episodes i just want to like explore the pack with you guys it's not going to be a long-term challenge like my legacy challenge or my not so berry it's just gonna be like a quick kind of quick because my episodes are long <laughs> a quick little speed run of the pack so yeah i have spent the last week moving into my apartment i'm not officially there yet i'm still at my parents house but um yeah we moved all of the furniture we unpacked all the boxes and i should be there in all like august 12th i think is gonna be the day that i move in so yeah, that's what's been up with me. That's why I've kind of been MIA, but I'm happy to be filming today. I hope that you guys are doing really good. I don't have a Celsius today, you guys. I've got boba. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get boba for this special day. <laughs> I got a rose milk tea. So cheers to you. Cheers to this video. Let's get into it. Mm, too good. Okay, you guys, here we are in Create a Sim. So as you can see, we have two different Sims. We made these Sims on Twitch last week. So let me tell you a little bit about them, okay? <laughs> so we have a big brother and a little sister. This is Mateo Trout, and then we've got Roxanne Trout, which is his little sister. Mateo is a young adult, Roxanne is a teen. So Mateo, has lived in San Myshuno. He's a 100% city boy through and through. Um, he's lived there since he was 18. So basically, Mateo and Roxanne have a very toxic mother who was not very good to them. And I think Roxanne and Mateo are probably around like eight years difference, eight years apart. So when he was 18, she was 10. And as soon as he became 18, he left he left his home he left his mom and her and her together because he just couldn't stand his mom anymore um so he just wanted to get out so as soon as he turned 18 he moved to the city and um he created a life there for himself and he has been there ever since and he's a young adult right now maybe um 25 26, 27, around that age. So Mateo has an atrocious reputation. I set his his reputation in the game to be the worst it could possibly be. He is, he's just the worst, you know? He's just not a good person. He, he lived in, when he was in the city, he was on a ton of those like dating reality shows. He has a ton of like followers on social media. It's just been his life to like become a little bit famous no matter what he had to do to get there. So he is also a two-star celebrity with a terrible reputation. Um, he is a player, 100%. Like, he has had so many exes in the past. He dates, and when he gets sick of them, he dumps them for someone else, and it's just been this, like, ongoing cycle. So I want to say that he's pretty hated in the city. He made his money from social media. He made his money from being on, like, reality shows, like I said, like, um, hot too hot to handle or like are you the one that type of stuff um because he's beautiful like he is a very 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 attractive sim so um he thought well i might as well take advantage <laughs> so yeah um his aspiration is soulmate so i thought this would be very spicy because he's been 
in and out of so many relationships and um, he's broken so many hearts and I think maybe he just wants to settle down. He's like getting to that age where he's like, okay, I can't keep doing this. So yeah, that's his aspiration. And I thought it would be interesting to also give him the non-committal trait. Um, so he's trying to find his soulmate, but also has that like conflicting trait, which will make things a lot harder for him. He also has the foodie trait. Um, I kind of want him to take like a chef route in this let's play. So we'll see how that goes. And he's also a little bit self-absorbed. That is Mateo. He's gay and his pronouns are he, him. All right, let's move on to his little sister, Roxanne. So Roxanne is, I want to say she's like the complete opposite of him. She is super wholesome, just a very good bean. She has been living with their toxic mother for a while. She's 18 now, and so she is like wanting to, she wanted to leave home as well. She wanted to get as far away from their mom as possible. Like she's a terrible person. She's in the game, she's in the save file, so we'll probably see her here and there, but she has a scar on her face. So I think that pretty much uh, sums up what a terrible, terrible mother she is. So Roxanne has the new aspiration that came with the pack. It's called the Country Caretaker. And what this is, is country caretakers want to tend the countryside and befriend all animals and critters. So I also gave her the animal enthusiast trait. Uh, they're obsessed with animals and will seek their company often. And I also gave her the loner trait. So I kind of get the get the vibe that she because of her troubled, trub, blah, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> because of her troubled childhood, she is very, <clears throat> I don't know, socially awkward to herself, doesn't really like talking to people, and she's found comfort in animals and she has her whole life. Um, so that explains the loner and the animal enthusiast trait. So basically what happened with them is Mateo left home at a, at a young age, like I said, and <clears throat> Roxanne is also doing the same thing. As soon as they become adults, like 18 years old, they want to just like leave the house. And Roxanne didn't know where to go or what to do, but their grandparents just passed away. They have been living in Selva Dorada, so they weren't really in their lives that much. They were like world travelers, very cultured, um, just hot from place to place. They were just enjoying their elder years. Um, they passed away from old age and they left a plot of land in Henford on Bagley to Roxanne and Mateo. I think they knew how toxic their daughter was and how bad of a parent she was to them. So I think they just left that plot of land for them so that they can maybe move in and make a life together. And it's funny, no one in the family knew that their grandparents had that plot of land <laughs> until they passed away. So it was a big surprise. Roxanne felt very relieved because she now has a place to go, even though there's nothing on it. And even though she has no money, um, she is just thankful that she has a place to like retreat to. And recently, Mateo went through a very nasty scandal and he it was kind of just like a wake up call for him. He... <laughs> He lost a bunch of followers. He wasn't getting as much money as he was before. So he was kind of just like, I need a change. And um, so he decided to move in with Roxanne as well. And this is going to be interesting because he's like very city. He's very like high maintenance, kind of a snob. So he's not going to be used to the country life at all. I'll show you guys a couple of his outfits. Um, it's gonna be interesting going from living a lavish lifestyle with a bunch of money to like not having any money at all and living in the country <laughs> Here's his formal wear. Here's his athletic. Here's his sleep. Here's his party wear <laughs> His swim wear his hot weather and his cold weather So when we were making him we had this idea that he would slowly transform into the country boy of our dreams so it'll be fun to see that happen and we'll um, over time incorporate more outfits from the pack. Roxanne, however, uh, is very, she's, she was, she's been into gardening since she was young. Um, so she's very excited to have a, a whole farm of her own. So she's already, you know, she's already got that like country, that country living kind of style. And I think she's really gonna help Mateo like adapt and get used to living, um, 
just living this very, very different lifestyle. So the lot that I chose for us to play on is this one right here. I'm not really sure why it still shows that there's like a house and stuff on here from the world map, but there's nothing on this lot. Um, I looked at all of the lots in the in the world and this was the one that I like vibed with the most. I really kind of wanted to live here in the like the, the like community area. I love these lots, they're so, so cute, but there wasn't really enough room to farm and have animals. So I picked this one um, and we have three lot challenges in place, reduce and recycle off the grid and simple living. Simple living came with the cottage living pack and basically what it is is you have to you have to grow your own food to make it. Like you can't just go to the fridge and like cook something. You actually have to have the ingredients for it. You can either grow them or buy them at the grocery store. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, oh, I forgot to mention Roxanne is a straight and she has the uh, she, her pronouns. I, I gave them a couple of likes and dislikes as well. Roxanne loves metal music. I know it's so freaking funny, but I love it so much. She, uh, let's see, she likes to garden. She likes glasses, freckles, and hats and does not like piercings. She likes blonde hair and brown eyes. Mateo, on the other hand, likes electronica and hip hop. He is, or he likes red and black. He likes cooking, dancing, baking, and mixology. And he also likes the hipster style in, in his, uh, potential mates. And like I said before, he has an atrocious reputation and he has two and a half stars currently. That's probably going to fall and we're gonna work on getting his re reputation better. He moved to the country so that he could work on himself, not have to rely on like social media and like electronics and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is going to be like a big change for him. This lot has the great soil, natural well and peace and quiet traits. And like I said earlier, the challenges that we have are off the grid, reduce and recycle and simple living. Off the grid basically means there's uh, no power or water and we have no bills at the, at the, at the moment. Reduce and recycle means that this lot, this lot generates compostable and recyclable trash and outdoor cans are no longer bottomless. Actively managing the trash output is a must. So he can't use his phone out here. There's no internet. There's really nothing that he can do except for work on himself. Um, their mother's name is Rosa. She's right here. And then Elijah and Constance were their grandparents who uh, left, left this plot of land for them. So yeah, I think that's it as far as backstory goes. I'm very excited to get into this. I'm so stoked. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting doing a rags to riches style um, let's play with two Sims. It's kind of gonna be hard to manage them both. But you know, I think we can do it. We've, have we done worse? I think we have, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but this world, like I was uh, exploring it a little bit earlier. I am not the biggest fan of it so far. Like it has this very weird, like overcast to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just not what I expected, but who knows? It'll probably grow on me. <laughs> Let's have a look at the new calendar as well. There are no entries in it. No, hold on. No, the calendar. So, wow. This is, wow. This is really great. This is so cool. Look at that. Their photo shows up on the day now if it's their birthday. What are these? Chicken fair, festival of snow, garden fair, cow fair. Wow. This is really nice. I am a fan. I'm a fan of this new calendar. I kind of want her to drop out of school. I think I need a mod for that though. And also I, I don't know which mod is like messing up my little, uh, my little interface here. I tried the trial and error thing when I took out a mod and went back in and tested it. And yeah, I don't know what's causing it. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, let's get into it. Let's get into this rags to riches let's play. I started off with $0, of course. If you guys don't know what a rags to riches let's or challenge is, you basically start with $0. You can't get a job and you have to, I think it's like $200,000 that you need to, to, to obtain. But um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're not really like going towards the goal. If we reach the goal, then great. I just kind of wanted to do like 
this like rags to riches style because it's so much fun starting with no money and like having to explore <laughs> so let's get into it then shall we so i kind of want let me see what happens if we add her to our group if we can like go exploring together so first and foremost obviously when you're doing a rags to riches you want to like search the grounds um try and find things to dig and forage okay yeah he can like fitness i don't see why not um who's calling you roxanne oh my god are you serious right off the bat we're getting bot to invites i'm good i'm good i'm good thanks though all right you guys oh my gosh look at them go they're going together they're going to forage they're feeling very optimistic about their new life <laughs> And I couldn't be happier for them. Honestly, it's like a fresh start. I think that Roxanne is gonna thrive, but I think that Mateo is probably gonna have some issues. He's just, it's just something that he needs to get used to. Oh, what do we have over here? <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Is this like a community garden? Oh wait, I think it is. What is this? Learn about villagers, read about the fair. Is there anything that we can like harvest right now or forage or what's this? Okay. Hmm, we don't have any money, so we can't purchase any seeds yet. But maybe we should go over here and learn about... Let's read about the fair, and then let's get Mateo to learn about villagers. And see what kind of pop-ups we get for that. This is all so new to me. I haven't... I haven't seen anything about this pack yet. Look at these very cute artworks, though. Oh, man. Okay. Finchwich Chicken Fair. Bring your luckiest, cluckiest chicken to compete. Bring your best eggs, purchase unique items, win ribbons. Okay, that's on Saturday. We don't have any chickens yet, but we might have one by Saturday, so we'll see. Mateo, what's taking you so long? Come on, my dude. Uh, welcome to Henford on Bagley. Meet the residents of Henford on Bagley who keep Finchwick running. Pitch in and become a part of our community by talking to the villagers and offering to help them with their various errands. We got Agatha. Um, she co-owns and helps run the garden shop. Agnes uh co-owns and helps run the garden shop <laughs> michael the creature keeper spends most days wandering the bramble wood caring for the animals and plants he looks cute raul grocery oh my gosh the grocery deliverer helps coordinate henford on bagley's local grocery delivery since and can often be spotted in fish he's really cute that's a potential love interest for roxanne kim uh grocery shop owner um mayor lavina mayor chopra Okay, and then Sarah Scott, who's a pub owner. Very good. Okay, so <laughs> um, if you guys are new to my channel, if you haven't watched my videos, I um, created a lot of the Stardew Bachelor and Bachelorettes in The Sims. And we were when we were making these Sims <laughs> on Twitch the other day, so many of you guys were like, oh my God, please put, this is really cute, but I wish it was like, you could do something with it. You guys were like, please put the Stardew characters in your, save file and i think that's such a good idea i think that her and seb would make an absolutely banging couple <laughs> so we'll see how that goes as well oh it looks like we have a restroom out here which is fantastic especially in a rags to riches let's play what's over here is there anything to dig anything to forage can i get a little something what's this uproot plant wait raspberry wait hold on have raspberries always been a thing and it has uprooting a plant always been a thing as well? Who's that? Who's the whole, hold on, hold on, who is that? Thomas Watson? Are you? Oh, that's that one guy from the trailer. Yeah, I'm not really interested in getting to know you if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, what the? So uprooting the plant just makes a pile of garbage? Um... Well, that makes me quite sad. I thought that we could like dig it up and plant it on our own lot. What the, who's this? Ian Moody, an elder, huh? You look like you're about to post an angry review on Yelp or something. I'm not really interested in speaking to you either. <laughs> what do we have here? Raspberry, that's really cool that there's raspberries. I don't remember there ever being raspberries before. <gasps> Ooh, is this a place we could dig? Oh yeah, okay, you dig that, Roxanne. Why don't you fish? Gather water. <gasps> I didn't know you could do that. Okay, I'm gonna get her to do that. Gather water and then go fishing for a little bit. Cause we need money, you know? That is the, that's the freaking goal today, my dudes, is to get some money. 
just a little bit otherwise like how are we gonna eat how are we going to function how are we going to do anything that's someone's house don't want to go there i'm just looking for more places to dig <gasps> two common upgrade parts come on you gotta be kidding me all right come over here and look for frogs let's see you gather some water man okay that's all you did that's it you just like grabbed i was hoping she would like stick a bucket in the water roxana is a loner loner sims are happiest in solitude and are wary of groups of strangers oh man she is such a cutie. A uh, striped eggplant frog, fantastic. Good job, Mateo. He's feeling quite energized from doing this, which I can appreciate. It doesn't really look like there's anything to forage out here, which is kind of weird. I thought that there would be a lot more harvestables and a lot more like dirt patches to dig, but <laughs> I'm literally not seeing anything. So maybe you can just help Roxanne with the fishing. Maybe she can like teach you how to fish. You also gather some water too and fish. And I guess we'll just make our money from fishing this early. I think if we travel to the upper left part of the map, there's like a bunch of for forageables up there and animals too. So yeah, we might have to make a little travel over there today, depending on how things go. Yeah, some brother sister fishing time. I love that for you guys. They're actually so cute and I'm very obsessed with them. I rarely play with like brothers and sisters, so this is fun. <gasps> blueberry! Has blueberries always been a thing? Why do I feel like raspberries and blueberries are new? They're new harvestables. Who's that? Who's that creeping? Yo, you need to like bug off, Thomas. I don't, I mean... <laughs> Does Thomas seem like someone that, no, 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 no. I was gonna say, does Thomas seem like someone that Mateo would go for? But like, I can't be going around being a home wrecker. I mean, it's very on brand for him, but like, we're trying to change, you know? We're trying to be a better person. I also life decided his social life. So um, I guess he hates Katarina for some reason. I guess we can say that they used to be like roommates in the city and he probably stole her boyfriend. Something along those lines. <laughs> um, so yeah, what does he want to do for this soulmate? Have a boyfriend or girlfriend and go on two dates. That's going to be difficult because the non-committal trait is the sim becomes tense after a while in the same job or relationship. Become happy when they quit a job or break off a relationship and take longer to propose and can discuss their fear of commitment. <gasps> Ooh, he, he caught something. What'd you get? A perch. Okay. $7. I mean, that's better than nothing. I'm gonna sell these common upgrade parts. I'm gonna sell this fish. I am also going to sell this frog. In these early stages, you know, you can't... Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, it looks like the life decider has decided that um, Dustin and Mateo are friends from the past. Okay. Cool, so he has a friend, Dustin. I often like to make backstories for my Sims because when they're just empty, they don't know anyone, they have no skills. It's so unrealistic. So I did give him a couple of skills. I maxed his woohoo skill, his dancing skill. I also gave him a bit of charisma because if he had a bunch of boyfriends from the past, he probably knows how to talk to people. I also gave him the cooking skill because he likes to cook. And then with Roxanne, I just gave her a couple of gardening skills. So I was thinking for for Roxanne, she can like overall take care, be like the leader of taking care of the farm. While Mateo, I kind of want him to focus on making like fresh farm to table foods and um, eventually maybe open a restaurant, a cafe, a bakery, something along those lines where they use fresh ingredients from their farm. I'll probably do a poll at some point and I'll let you guys vote on what kind of business that he should open. We did open a business in my eco lifestyle racks to riches, which was really fun. So, <laughs> but we ended up selling it cause we didn't really make that much money from it, but it was still fun. It was still fun and it was something to work towards, which you know, I'm all for. Yo, this Thomas, this Thomas guy, I think he might be into one of us. What is this? I've got a lucrative opportunity for someone who doesn't ask too many questions. I need you to hold on to a stack of, stack of simoleons I'm planning to launder under the trail turns until the trail turns cold. Sure, it may not be legal or moral, but it'll help line your pockets. 
I have never gotten this before, probably because I've never played with a sim that has an atrocious reputation. But this is kind of... This is kind of tempting. Because we can't go to jail in The Sims. Like, what's the worst that could happen? And it's his first day on the farm, so he hasn't really had that much time to better himself. I say we take the money. Or should we? Oh, God. It might be a ton of money, and it might just completely like ruin the whole rags to riches aspect so let's refuse sorry joaquin but oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <gasps> is that a dog what is this arrow an elder wait are you a dog or a fox um is that a wolf like what is happening okay if we keep fishing love let's fish until like 3 p.m and then we can go to stranger danger it's okay he's gone you're fine <laughs> we can go to the other side of henford and um see what harvestables we can find uh, let's see she hasn't caught a fish yet she's kind of weak who's that irving the fox what are you what is that what does that mean that's a really cute fox hi baby you good hmm he seems very sus about us so do, can foxes attach uh, attack sims Ooh, a night Ooh, a trout that's their last name it was meant to be maybe we should mount this and put it up in our future home <laughs> all right it's almost three o'clock so give you a little bit more time to fish y'all okay let's go ahead and travel to the uh the other area this one over here this is what i'm talking about the bramblewood yes yes let's go let's go to this uh park this is going to be my let's see one two three four like fifth time doing rags to riches holy cannoli <laughs> fifth time i should be a pro at this by now <gasps> Look at the duckies in the pond. Oh my god. Allow turtles to content. What? Allow turtles to sun on log? <gasps> oh my god. That is so cute. I want. Chase away turtles. No. What does contemplate the log mean though? Oh, what is she doing? Where Why are you going in the pond? What are you doing? Play in water? Okay, that's actually cute. Look for frogs? Yes, let's do that. I like how they can stand in the pond. He's ruining his high tops, though. What are you guys doing now? Chat. Play in water. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see, let's see. Nothing in the trash can for us to rummage as of yet. Is there anything for us to forage? Anything for us to dig? I mean, there's a bunch of places to fish, but... Oh my god. Search. What does searching this 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 thing do? What is this? Oh, rabbit hole. Oh, they're good friends now. That's what up. That's what up. That's what's up. That's what I like to hear. Okay, what does searching this 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 snail do? What did you get? A socialite and two robot salvage parts? Who are you? What is happening? Oh my god. Uh Cecilia Kang? Hi Cecilia. Wait, is she the Snow White one? Is she the Snow White character from the... I did not tell you to chat with her. I need you to search the snail. Nothing. What does contemplate mean? Take a selfie. What is that? That is not cute. They're not supposed to have phones. I don't know why I just did that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She got a first impression. Hold on, hold on. I'm dying to see. Uh, Roxanne's first impression about Cecilia was pretentious oh no cecilia thinks that roxanne is independent and capable love that for you roxanne okay so snail was a bust we found a couple of things but nothing to write home about um is there any trash in here no okay yo i thought this area was supposed to be full of harvestables what's happening what is going on what's in here what's this choco berry what the heck is a choco berry? This fruit tastes just like chocolate. Wow, finally a healthy alternative to chocolate. Yo, I need that. I need it. I want it, but it's not ready to harvest yet. So we got to wait a little bit, which is fine. Um, is this the bird thing? Oh, ooh, frogs. Roxanne, why don't you come over here and admire flock of wild birds? Ooh, ooh, there's a gift in there. She likes animals, so maybe uh, this will be good for her. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting dizzy. 
Okay, Mateo got us a spotted leaf frog. Uh, Fantastic. Okay, what are the birds doing? Look at it! Cute! <laughs> what can you do? Gifting? Discover gift preferences? Uh, what? What's this? She got a moodlet! Brilliant birds. Watching birds doing bird things can be inspiring. How cute. Show Seven dance nine, moves. Five, Sing to eight, birds. Eight, Practice guitar with fo oh my god. Oh, she's singing like she does from the trailer. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's got a bird Ooh, we need to get that singing skill up my dude gossip about chickens. Oh my god the tea the tea show dance move mm. Mateo get off your phone sir, you're not supposed to have that what? Phone fanatic? No! No! That is so off brand. Gosh darn it. I mean, I guess he, he just has had it since he lived in the city. We just need to get rid of it. What are you doing? What is this? Singing with the birds is like a fairy tale come true. Okay, what? Talk about feathers. Wait, is there a, is there a, a relationship bar? This oh, there is! Oh, 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 there's that one dude. Sorry, there's just so much happening. I'm like overwhelmed let me have a look at you sir oh well aren't you just the sweetest little bean who's that simon scott are you the husband of the pub owner wow these sims are really cute i'm like shook these townies are like they like marryable you know why don't you uh let's just give him a cheerful introduction get to know him a little bit while roxanne works on her relationship with these birds Ask if birds are real. That seems like a stupid thing to ask a bird. Yeah. Take gift offered by flock of birds. Yes, please. What's the gift? I'm gonna sell these parts. I'm also gonna sell this socialite, $80. Wait, what's that? What'd they give us? Mighty plant milk? Plant milk? What's plant milk? Oh shoot, wait, did that say? Roxanne, oh no, my name, me, me. Roxanne has discovered information about a mighty plant milk, which has been added to the notebook. Okay, let's see. Make by feed a cow a veggie treat, animal treat, and they'll provide mighty plant milk when milked. Happier cows provide higher quality mighty plant milk used for safely enjoyed by lactose intolerance sims. So this is like a, a non-dairy milk. It will improve mus or provide muscle gain, faster fitness skill gain, and slows the effect of aging. That is so dope. I love that they had that uh, that little addition in there to satisfy us vegans. Oh, you don't want to give the you don't want to give the birds your homework. Okay, how's it? How's things going over here? Let's see what your first impression of his him was. Nature maniac. I mean. Yes, and then Michael's first impression was fun to be around. That's cute. Oh, he finds him very attractive as well. Interesting. What's this? From seeing an unattractive sim? Whoa, you need to relax. Unfortunately, Mateo's eyes were bombarded by the sight of a sim that they find particularly abhorrent. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's really not. All right, so I'm gonna sell this selfie for 10 bucks <laughs> i'm also gonna sell this leaf frog that we have so we have a decent amount of money i would say we did pretty good for day one so i'm gonna get you guys to go home let's go home for the day and see what we can purchase to help us out hello okay so what should we buy what do we need we need a tent for sure let me see how much the tents are no we can't afford the snowy escape tent dang it dang Tents do be expensive though. Okay, um, so these tents that are showing up, they're all from Debug. <laughs> so that doesn't count. Um, wow, we can't even afford a mini fridge. Are you kidding? Is there anything that we can afford right now? So we can get the toilet, the bush toilet, which I'm just gonna throw back there. What else can we afford at the moment? That's pretty sad, you guys. I need a mini fridge and a tent, but we can't can't afford any of that okay so let's go ahead use the bathroom yes fertilize it how are you doing you're just hungry i don't know what to tell you we're probably gonna have to go to evergreen harbor and uh dumpster dive a little bit seems to be our only option all right welcome welcome y'all to evergreen harbor i'm just gonna get them to dumpster dive really quick i 
I need to do something. So go ahead and get them to just use the bathroom and wash their hands. I hate it when these Sims freaking hog the dumpster. Like that could have been our ice cream, you know, Baco? You have a home. You have a nice apartment. You have a family. Like, why do you need a dumpster dive? We can not recycle though, this trash pile that we have. So let's do that. You, oh my God, these Sims. They just like hog everything. Let's die for deals, die for meals. Roxanne's napping on the bench, which is fair. Um, an eco upgrade part? Come on, dude. Give me something that I can work with, please. No freaking way. A tonic dispenser? That's a refrigerator. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, that's great, that's good. Let's die for deals one more time and then go home. Uh, noir black dye, what's this? Oh, he doesn't like dumpster diving, which I get. Glass black backsplash? Why would I Why would I need a glass black, but glass backsplash, that's so hard to say. Ooh, a bike! Love that for us. I think that's pretty good for today. Let's head home, y'all, let's go. Oh, she's riding her bike, the bike that she found in the dumpster. I love that for her. <laughs> Putting it to good use. Welcome home, y'all. Let's see what we got. Let's look at our haul. Three dyes that aren't worth crap. Roxanne found an eco upgrade part, which we can't sell. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Let's see what's in our household inventory. <sighs> okay, so this is worth hundred dollars definitely gonna sell that this is worth one thousand one hundred and fifty um do we want to keep it though we can't keep it you know why because we live off the grid so it would be pointless for us to have a refrigerator okay we're selling it all right so now we have enough money for a tent and hopefully a mini fridge as well you guys know how i feel about this tent from <laughs> from um snowy escape it's so cute it is so, so, so cute. So I'm gonna grab them that one. And then we can't afford a mini fridge. Oh, thank God, but shoot. This is functional off the grid. Maybe we should purchase this. Yeah, it's really cute too. Very cute fridge. Ooh, that one's cute too. I think I'm gonna get this one. I think it fits the aesthetic of this challenge more. <laughs> what else can we get? Can we get a shower? For some reason, these like wall showers are functional off the grid and that's fantastic. I just don't know what we would put it on. We don't have a wall. I like to like build trees and put showers on those. <laughs> Did we get any trees with this pack? That's strange, we didn't. Okay, I'm gonna grab this bare pine tree. Just gonna plop it right there and then I think we can put one of these showers on there. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, this will work. Pop it right there, you know, like they nailed it to the tree or something. I don't know, you guys. I really don't know. Maybe what we should do, is there a bucket in this game? There's a, there's gotta be. Hopefully we can afford it because I can just like put it next to the shower to make it look like they like use the bucket. Dang it, this one's $50. That would have been perfect. I also want to get them the, um, whatchamacallit? The garage sale table. Okay, what can we do here? We can can from the fridge, we can bake, but we need, oh my God, that's so insane. We need egg floured sugar to make breadsticks. <gasps> wow, this is gonna be hard. Pumpkin scones, oh my goodness. Chocolate scones, yo, I'm actually so stoked for this. This is gonna be fun. I think we should probably put the milk in the fridge. Can we make anything? with just milk? <laughs> Probably not. Add ice. Fridges will now preserve food even without power until the ice melts. How do we add ice? How do we get ice? Oh, you stink, girl. Woo! All right, well, you have a shower now, so why don't you come and use it? Take it quick into that, take a shower. Oh my gosh, they're so hungry. We can't do the, the whole yogurt cereal trick from the mini fridge that we normally do with the rice to riches oh man this is gonna be this is gonna be a challenge your sim can't take their clothes off in front of a child excuse me what happens if she's asleep in the tent okay he can do it now so roxanne is gonna have to go to school but just go while she's at school i guess we can like be a big brother and try to 
try to figure something out. What? Hey, Mateo, you're so notorious that one of my unscrupulous friends has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Okay, sure. What does unscrupulous mean? Well, good morning. You're feeling energized? Feeling free? I love fitness. Okay, all right. Well, that's great. So, I hate that we can't fish right here. No, Grandma, I don't want to go see someone famous at the lounge. Can we grill, I wonder? We can't grill. <laughs> we can't grill because we don't have the ingredients. Holy cannoli. All right. Um. Ooh, ooh, what, if, what is this? What is this over here? A chrysanthemum and a meat cube. Um, I'm hungry, so let's eat that. And then let's also plant this dandelion. <gasps> There's ice cream right here too. It's so funny the way that Sims put freaking ice cream in the planters at like community gardens and stuff. It makes no sense to me. I hate that we can't take the crops. We can either eat them or plant them. <laughs> yeah, let's get you some food. Let's see how much that meat cube gives you for your hunger. Wow. Your hunger didn't go up at all from that. Okay, the ice cream gave him a little bit of hunger, but not a lot. Uh-oh, what happened? Living off the... Wait, what? What's wrong? What's wrong with that? Mateo crunched his way through a self-harvested raw fruit or vegetable. The effort alone made the food taste all the more satisfying. The earth is basically his grocery store now. Okay. That looks like a negative... Um thing oh god his mom's here <gasps> no don't chat with her you you need to avoid her like the plague where's she at how dare her how dare she come come all the way to henford she lives in brindleton bay she shouldn't be here this is her <gasps> she has food so yeah y'all this is rosa um she <sighs> terrible mom absolutely terrible but you know we might have to steal her BLT and then like run away cause we're hungry and yeah. I've heard a lot about you, mostly bad things, but that's okay. People usually don't like me either. We should hang out sometime. Jeez, George. I mean, <laughs> please don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Yes, put the, do that and we'll rummage through the trash after that. Rummage. Oh, Mom, yes. go away. I don't like you. Can we, I think we need to tell her to leave. Go away. You're not supposed to be here. I'm trying to make a life for myself. I'm taking care of Roxanne. It's fine. You can go. I wonder if there is a mod that I can get that like prevents my Sims from autonomously using their phones. Cause it's kind of, it's kind of like ruining my story when they have video gaming skill and are always on their phones. This is pretty difficult. I don't think Henford and Bagley is a uh, very rags to riches friendly world. Evergreen Harbor is though, like 100%. We need to purchase a dumpster to be in this like community lot, I think. I guess fishing is going to be our main source of income. It can also be our food as well. Okay, Roxanne's home. She's heading to sleep. We are, we are cooking or catching our dinner. We'll be home soon. I love this outfit. What a cutie. He seems to be thriving. What is this from? What? When did you donate to a charity? I mean, I'm happy that you did, but like we don't really have that much money to be doing that. He's really taking this like turning his life around thing seriously. Who is this? Nigel Gunter? Sir? Sir? Okay. I will not lie. This is kind of iconic. The double nose piercing with two different medals, the white lashes. He has three different color hairs going on right now. A brown mustache, blonde brows, and gray hair. Sheesh, Nigel. He looks very shady. Like he's about to like offer us something that we just can't refuse. What is he going to do? What are you, what are you, you're gonna fish with us? Huh? What is your agenda, Nigel? Yo, I think that Mateo might be like a natural fisher. He, he's catching all the fish. Can, what do you want from us? Anything? Okay. Oh, you're in the water. All right, let's just introduce ourselves to him very quick. Um, let's see what their first impressions. Oh God, they have red bar. Sophisticated and interesting sim. Why do they have red then? 
All right, all right, all right. I understand. You're not feeling well. Let's go. Let's go home. He caught some fish. So perhaps we should buy a bonfire pit. Free love received the most votes. Oh no. Can we sell the school? We can. A hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm selling that. Mm -mm. We want to drop out of school anyways. Look at all these fish he caught. And we got a $20 postcard selling that. We got another trout, a perch, and a minnow. Okay, I think we might be able to afford a bonfire pit now um, that we can like roast the fish on. Oh, bonfire pits are like high key expensive. Okay, so we need a little bit more money for that. I wonder if there's anything that he can cook that will just require one fish. Nope. Dang, I feel so bad for them. What the heck are they gonna eat? I'm sorry, hold on, hold the phone. There's a fox and he's famous. Pets can be famous now? And he just disappeared. Okay, that's weird. That is so very strange. My Sims are gonna starve to death. I need to sell these fish. I don't have a choice, we need money. Still don't have enough for the bonfire pit. Roxanne, hi, how are you feeling? Uh, you should fertilize and get some sleep as well. Oh my god, this is so hard. I thought that buying a fridge was a good move, but apparently it's not. Good morning. Bright and early, 6 a.m. Aw, look, there's a phone booth over here, but you can't interact with it. What is this? Travel? <gasps> How cute is that? We got to use this bus stop the next time we travel. Okay, let's come back over here and see what we got. What's this? Oh my god. Charming mushrooms? Harvest. <gasps> There's carrots here too. <gasps> and mandrakes. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. I'm so happy that things are are wild mushrooms as well. Parsley. Okay, we have we're, we're we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. How come nobody is planting stuff here though? I know you're hungry. I'm so sorry. You can eat some of these harvestables once we get them. Have a carrot, this edible wild mushroom. Okay, have a mushroom. Okay, now I'm gonna give all these ingredients to your brother because he's the one that's going to be cooking everything. Aw, she's feeling very confident from eating the mushroom and eating and living off the land. Dispose of dead plant, why did that die? I don't understand, we literally just harvested it. Okay, bye Roxanne, have a good day at school. Mateo, he is tense from separation anxiety because he wants to be on his phone. I'm sorry, sir, but that's just not happening, you know? It's not happening. So let's get him to plant one of each of these things so that we will have an unlimited supply. Oh no, what season are these? Okay, plant. He just stepped on the carrot. Fall and spring. What are you having? Oh, water, that's fair. Yeah, you like gardening. I don't see why not. You're gonna be doing a lot of it. He's feeling really hungry. I'm gonna have him have a carrot and I'm also gonna have him have one of these mushrooms as well. Water the plants. Is there anything that you can cook with the ingredients that we have? Nothing. Oh, we need a trash can too. I wonder how much dumpsters are. 540? You're kidding me. <sighs> Everything is so expensive. It hurts my heart. Why is Lily Fang here? Please leave. I don't want you to be friends with us. That is so random. Lily Fang, what are you doing here? Why do you want to be our friend? There are foxes everywhere. Everywhere. There's that guy again. He's very sus. What's this? Oh, it's like a play area? Dang, if only we could put it in our inventory and sell it. <laughs> oh my gosh, we can fish with bait? Compost pile bait? <gasps> What's he doing with Nigel? What are you guys talking about? You guys don't even like each other. Oh my gosh, she wants to woohoo in a bush. Man, those teenage hormones really wild and aren't they? He wants to perform woohoo in a tent. Nigel, are you seriously coming to fish with us again? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. He kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. Got a goldfish with some selling for $7. This is so hard. If you guys are doing rags to riches in Hanford on Bagley, like living, living off the grid and doing the simply living thing, let me know, cause this is like a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I can appreciate it because I've done rags to riches so many times that I'm kind of just like, no! What the heck went bad in here? No, it was the milk. Ugh. 
All right, I'm selling it for $15. Roxanne wakes up at like the butt crack of dawn. Can't relate, but I admire it. <laughs> Is there anything over here that's ready to be harvested? She's feeling sad because she hasn't interacted with an animal in a while. You poor baby. Does fishing count? Dang, she's catching all the bass. They're worth so much money. I put them all in Mateo's inventory. Um, I think we should just sell them. We need the money. I'm also gonna sell this mounted trout because we don't have a use for it right now. Oh god, he's about to pee himself. Why are you gonna pee yourself? You have a bathroom. Ooh, our snapdragons are ready. Yeah, I realize you're having a, a, a horrible time. I can see that. But whose fault is that? Yours and yours alone. Okay, we made a good chunk of change from our harvestables today. So what was it that I wanted to purchase? Oh yeah, a grill. Or not a grill, a bonfire pit? Cause we do be hungry though. Mm, picnic basket's so cute. Oh yeah, and I wanted to buy a bucket as well. Mm. This bonfire is only 150. Why did I think they were so expensive? <gasps> you guys, look at these mushroom seats. How cute! So expensive, but wow. How much are these gardening plots? 10 bucks? That's not bad at all. Okay, I think we should get one. I'm just gonna put it here for now and I'll reorganize the lot later once we have more stuff. Ah, uh, here's that bucket that I wanted. Oh my gosh, this plant though. That is beautiful. Okay, the animal shed is $500, the chicken coop is $400. So the next time that we get some money, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna buy one. Who's this? Juan Grimes? Wow, Juan, you definitely look like someone that Mateo would, uh, huh? You know, woohoo in a tent with? This is kind of romantic. Like, meeting your significant other whilst fishing at the same fishing hole. I'm confused why his fun has is like not going down. What is this? Hungry for attention, low social. Uh-oh, hold on, Mateo is starving? The simple living lot challenge is active on this lot and requires ingredients to cook meals. Okay, well, we did catch a fish, so he's going to go chat with Juan and get some attention really quick. Just don't starve to death, okay? Hi, I'm Mateo. Do you live around here? Like, tell me everything. He's not in the best mood, though. Uh-oh, what was that first impression? What does the banana peel mean? Unreliable? How the heck would you know that about me, like, right off the bat? Let's go home. Let's go home and cook that fish before you die. Gosh, this mushroom stool is too cute. Why can't you cook a fish on here? Is that not a thing anymore? You can't like grill fish on the, oh God. Okay, can you grill it on here? <gasps> Wait, he can make something. Forager stew. Okay, let's do it. So apparently you can make forager stew with any vegetable. So, <laughs> Yeah, that's what he's doing. While he's doing that, um, I guess I can get Roxanne to fish. I really, I want to put like a fishing thing right here. It'd be so much easier for us. Let's eat. Wow, our first meal. Our first official meal. He's like, hey, Roxanne, yes, come and eat with me. Um, I found enough harvestables to, uh, you know, for us to eat. So let's just put that in our inventory. Our first meal, sis, how is it? You know, it's very good. I am so full. Thank you, Mateo. They're, they seem to be in a good mood yeah, now that they've had, they've had a nice meal. They're vibing. I just don't understand what the heck happened with the fish thing. I swear. Oh, what is this? Forger's Delight, nice. Tomorrow, I, uh, while Roxanne is at school, I think we should probably go back to Evergreen Harbor to do some more dumpster diving. Fishing just ain't cutting it. I wonder if marshmallows will uh, help with his hunger. Let's see. Cause that's a free way to get food. <gasps> it does, it works. All right, our crops are ready. Let's get some of that dough going. Spray for bugs, water. I don't know where they get marshmallows from, but I'm glad that it helps with their hunger. <laughs> it looks like we have enough for a dumpster, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy one. I think that's probably our next, uh, you know, 
our next important thing. Because we can get a lot of money from the dumpster. Let's put these nasty cups in the dumpster and then go dumpster diving and see what we can find. All right, Mateo. Let's see what you got for us, my boy. Let's see what you got for us. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, he's a B-lister? Okay. He might be our, like, social media friend. I'm not sure. Oh, my God, a bed. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see our haul. Okay, so this is worth $285, which we're selling. This bed is worth 560 We definitely don't need a bed. This desk is worth 365 this is worth 260 and this bad boy, oh yes, that is what I like to see, $1,110. That, that was a fantastic haul. I am so pleased. Yeah, I think we can like purchase some crops as well. Maybe I should wait. I should wait until Roxanne gets home because she's the one that likes to garden. So I'm gonna leave that up to her. We need crops. Like we need to buy seeds. In order to cook, we need seeds and he can't purchase them on the phone. So I think we need to head on over back to where like, oh, over here, cause we can purchase the seeds from, ooh, and these are ready to harvest. <gasps> yeah, no, no. Insult her for stealing our crops. We already don't like her. Oh my God, I'm so pissed off right now. That, those were our crops. Okay, can we purchase seeds though? Okay, we can, okay. So let's get some starter veggies. Let's get some herbs. Do we need magical plants? I don't know, let's get some fruits. Come out here, plant these. Hopefully it'll make you feel a little bit better. What do you, what is happening right now? Get out of it. She's pregnant and trying to flirt with us. Honey, you are barking up the wrong tree. Please leave. Oh my God. Lily Fang out here wild in. Purchase oversized crop seeds. <gasps> we need to get all of this. Oh my gosh, watermelons. Okay. Um. How do we, how do we do this? How do we do this? Keep these seeds in your inventory. Place a gardening patch and select plant. Okay, okay. <gasps> <gasps> wow, so one thing of seeds gives you nine. That's amazing. Okay, so we need two more of these things. Mateo is just like obsessively following Roxanne around. He just wants attention. It's kind of annoying. <gasps> we can afford an animal shed. <gasps> we can also afford a chicken coop. Stop it right now. We, there's a fox right there, yikes. Um, Should I grab Apache? I'm gonna grab Apache. I'm gonna just put him right here. Whatever happened to that bike that Roxanne found? Okay. Cool. Yard sale table, check. Who's that? Uh, stop right there, stop. Who are you? What's your name? Mail carrier, Kazuyo Uchida. Hmm, he's pretty cute. I'm also gonna get her to fertilize the crops with the, the fertilizer that we purchased. She's feeling pretty bad, so why don't you go ahead and go to sleep? How much are cows? You can name the shed? Purchase animal. <gasps> we don't have enough. We don't have enough. Oh no. How much are chickens? 150? <sighs> All right, it's fine. It's fine. We got this. Excuse you. Oh, she's gonna water our crops for us? Interesting. Interesting. We don't like this girl, so I'm not really sure why she's like on our lot watering our stuff, but whatever. Why are you on our lot? Oh my gosh, she's flirting with us. They did that autonomously. Ugh. I mean, your tattoos, pretty rad, but like, what do you want from us? Okay, he got bored. He said, goodbye, sir. <laughs> well, you guys, I think that this is a good, uh, a good place to leave episode one. You guys, we made so much progress, which is kind of wild. We already have an animal shed. We already have a chicken coop. We've got some crops. We've got some oversized crops. We've got ourselves a table. We've got a place to sleep, a fridge. I think we're doing good. I was a little bit stressed in the beginning because like this living simply thing is not easy. If you have tried it, you know it's not easy. And there's not a lot of like, 
forageables or harvestables, things like that in Henford on Bagley, at least in the area that I chose, but it's all good. I think we're, we're doing good. We're getting there. <laughs> so in the next episode, I'm hoping that we can get some animals and like rearrange the lot to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this first episode. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And um, again, if you're new here, my name is Savannah and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I love you. Bye.